Today we're doing a real review of the Turbo Heater, Handy Heater Turbo 800. Okay, and I'm checking the specs out. It says it has a power consumption of 800 watts, and if you need to, make sure that you do not use an adapter on this to defeat the safety purpose of the grounded plug. I've had this running for half an hour now in a very cold room and it's only drawn 1.78 amps of wattage here and it's set at 90 and I don't think it's ever going to reach to the 800 watts consumption ever and here's why I'll tell you that in just a second. Now prior to this video, I took this unit apart to take and measure the resistance. But you see here, I took and did some calculations and I measured across the coil and I got 47 ohms because I didn't know what the current draw was. So what we're going to do is revisit that now that I've had this element on for probably close to a half hour is to measure the resistance of that to see if it increased. So prior to this we were at 47 ohms. You read my document that's what it says 47 ohms. Now I'm going to measure it again and see what it says while well, it's hot. And it's even less, it's 21 ohms, okay. That's cool. So let's do some math. We know that this is the pie chart, right? Wattage, amps, volts, power, current, electricity, electrical, whatever you want to call it. So we also know it has 20 ohms. Ohm's law is also I equals E divided by R. Well, you have 120 divided by R, which was, when it was hot, 20 ohms, which makes this 6 amps. Okay. Now let's go to pi, where i times e is 6 amps times 120 volts equals wattage. 6 times 12 is what? 72, 720 watts. So as it heats up, the heating element decreases temperature because at its at a cool state, it was at 47 ohms. That's pretty cool. And do the math on that. At 47 ohms, I would only get in 318 watts. So Theoretically, with this getting as hot as it can get, it will get close enough to get to that. Now, we know that it was not drawing 6 amps. We know it was drawing 1.72 or 1.78 amps, right? If it's not doing those 6 amps. If it was drawing 6 amps, buddy, that thing, so it has just an LED to make that glow. It would really glow at this point. So, sure, by definition, if you took the resistance of the coil, these, these grids here, this is your heating element that goes back and forth, it's still apart. As it heats up, it will, you know, get 6 amps due to the resistance calculations. 
So in reality, is it drawing 720 amps? No. It's only drawing, mm, at this point, like, uh, closer to, to be 120 times 1.78. That's your ampage sister voltage. So you're looking at less than 240 watts. You know? There you have it. There's my math. Is it 800 watts? Yeah, yeah, no. Is it going to draw 800 watts? No. Let me talk about the circuitry a little bit. They have... Don't forget about your... Do not defeat the safety purpose of the grounded plug. Don't do that. Tell me where that ground wire is. You have two wires. Tell me where that ground wire is. The earth ground. You don't have none. That's some janky stuff right there. Do they have even a UL or anything? Because if they did, that would be terrible. ETL listed. I don't know what that is. I'd have to look and see. Congratulations, you bought our scam. This costs $20. It was on sale. $20. Original price was a whopping $29.88. When I scanned it into the system, I said it was $24. So they knocked off four bucks and marked up the price and said, You're getting all this, yeah, whatever. So here's how it works you have your bullshit coming through here with no earth ground protection, so screw them. You have your 120 going straight into here. Here's the relay. It switches contact, puts the 120 volts straight into this the uh, your heating elements. Your only safety on this device really is this thing down here, where you do have a thermal cutoff and a relay here, which if it goes in opposite direction, it will trip and turn won't allow this to be on. Um, the brightness of this. So it shows that it's orange. It's not really orange. It's an LED that lights it up. Will it get the rim on? Should I? Is it drawing 800 watts? It's not. That's what I gotta say. Thanks for watching, guys. We've done the math. We'll see you next time. Consider subscribing.